Hello, East Aurora team. Just wanted to thank you again for your time earlier this afternoon and wanted to follow up on a couple of things uh, that I wanted to show you with an exact path. Number one was a few key reports uh, that I think uh, would be particularly helpful. I know that it was something that Lisa had asked about, just looking at trends um, from uh, diagnostic to diagnostic, from building to building, from classroom to classroom. So I'd like you to show you that. I'd like to show you that real quick. And then I also wanted to show you a little bit about how you create that diagnostic testing window and what that looks like, both from an admin perspective and then also from an instructor perspective. So what you guys see up here on the screen um, is the login landing page here in ExactPath, and I'm up here in reports. And again, I'm logged in as an account administrator. Account administrator is the highest level of access. So an account administrator has access to this national percentile rank trends. So again, it's nationally normed, the assessment in exact path, all of the three of the assessments. And you can break it down by subject. You can break it down by academic year. Then you can break it down by domain if you want to. You can break it down by grade level. And then you can look at uh, grade level as a whole across the district, or you can break it down by school. And you can also select all of your schools. But then ultimately, what you're going to get is a report that looks like this, uh, which, again, you can compare from one diagnostic to the next. Uh, we can look at how they fell within those various percentile ranking bands um, overall as a district. This one happens to be uh, looking at math. This sample does. And you can see the growth here from diagnostic one to two to three and the distribution in those four quartiles. Um, and then down here, uh, percentile rankings, again, we can see the percentage and the number of students based on elementary school or building, building wise, who fell into each one of those categories and what percentage of students fell into each one of those categories. So again, you can look at trends that way. And then the other two reports that I wanted to show to you would fall under these skills reports. And in these skills reports, what you have, uh, these are actually available to instructors too. So uh, instructors, um, program administrators, account administrators can see, um, again, based on uh, this particular diagnostic, we can see the number of students who are um, not ready, who failed or who are struggling, uh, who mastered that particular um, uh, standard uh, or skill rather. You can see all of that right here on this particular report. And we can even see all of the students, the number of students who have placed above um, in those particular skills. So again, another handy report. Um, so you, uh, teachers can look at uh, what are my students ready for based on their performance with an exact path. And then the last one would be the learning path progress. And again, this, can, uh, this gives you an individual listing of all the kids in the class, um, how many uh, activities they've completed, the number of skills attempted and mastered, how many have not been mastered, and then total time within the system. So again, just a few of the reports that are available uh, that I wanted to show to you. And then uh, the last thing that I wanted to show to you is what it looks like to assign the diagnostics. So uh, what I was looking for when we were on the phone call earlier today was this settings tab. And I apologize, I wasn't able to get that right away. So the settings tab up here is where you can set the diagnostic testing windows for your building. And what you can actually do here is uh, not only set an academic year, but you can also set summer sessions. So if I click on this academic years and standards, here you can see that I've, we not only have the academic year, but then I've also created a summer session that runs from June 1st through June 26th of 2020. And I can, of course, pick the standards staying on the Common Core. So I set those academic years. Again, this is through um, my rights as an account administrator. And then from over here, I can set the diagnostic testing. So I can say that for my summer session, what you'll see is that I just said two times per year, I'm going to give it at the beginning of the summer session window. And then I'm going to give it at the end of that summer window. And I can actually pick what days and what times uh, that can be available for teachers to push out to their students. That was one thing that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned to you. We can auto schedule the diagnostic, which then allows the teachers to be able to push that out to the kids. So I click that button right here. And so then that way the teachers are able to go in and push that out to their students. So you can see that's how we get those um, set up. And then if I sign out of here, I can show you then what it looks like for a teacher to be able to assign that diagnostic to uh, their group of students. So now I'm logged in as a teacher. I can go to reading. 
and go here to diagnostic scheduling. And then for my students, I can choose for the summer session, my fourth graders, you can see that I've already assigned it to them. It's gonna be open to them from eight till 3 p.m. for the first week of June. You can see here that I can turn off and on audio controls, which again is uh, for click to speak accommodations. If there are students who need the test read to them, it can absolutely be test, uh, the test can be read to them right there. So I can toggle that on and off for all of my students. I can do it for some of the students um, and so on. But from that screen, I can do that. But if I go here to my third graders, I can see that as that a teacher, I can pick all of my students. I can schedule it for them. I can again pick that start and that end time. So I'm going to do from 8 a.m. on June 1st through 3 p.m. on June 5th. And I can go ahead and schedule that. Again, during this time, students will be able to open their diagnostic test.